Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Phasmophobia. And thanks to everybody who subscribed to my channel and got me to a thousand subs. I appreciate all of you. I just wanted to say thanks. But let's move on. Let's move on. Let's get this going. So we did two of our challenges. I think I'm going to hold back on doing the next one for now. I want to just do some basic, uh, get our daily tasks out of the way. Do some basic hunts or some con basic contracts. We need to discover the ghost type, get spirit box responses, complete objectives, and get photo money. The spirit box is the tricky one. So, we're going to play on our custom difficulty. That's the 3.9. It's a little bit more easier than Insanity, or I'm sorry, than Nightmare, which is 4. Let's add all our items back on again. And we'll just walk down the the list of maps. So we only have two evidence types. We'll be able to get collect two things, and that will give us a list of ghosts. From there, we'll have to infer which is the correct ghost based on its behavior. Kevin, Shawcross? That's an uncommon name. I haven't seen that one before. It's a snowy day. Prevent the ghost from hunting with a crucifix. Repel the ghost with incense. Witness a ghost event. We've had trouble with crucifix before, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We do need photo money, so I'm going to go ahead and take that instead. Breaker starts on because of our custom difficulty. No cards. Oh. I wonder where the ghost is. <laughs> Here's our breaker. What did you just throw? There you go. Well, we'll leave those there while we go around and find stuff. We have a hiding spot in the ghost room, as per usual. No Ouija board. I'm looking for the bone also. Let's check the basement real quick to see if there's anything down here. I like to check the basement early because if we don't and we get an early hunt, often it's very deadly to be trapped in the basement. We have a summoning circle and nothing else. So this would be a good example of a time where we don't want to be in the basement. We should have one more hiding spot somewhere on the map. Not there. Still looking for the bone. There's our second hiding spot. This is a good one. Is you can break line of sight right here. If the ghost can be right there, and you, if you're at least a little bit ahead of it, you can get right in and you'll be fine. It's the line of sight break before the hiding spot that determines how good it is. Uh, I didn't find a bone. We did kind of look everywhere. Oh well, maybe no bone this time. Or maybe it's like right in front of me down here and I just missed it. Let's go get some more gear.
Sanity is fine. Seems like no obvious sanity shenanigans going on. Someone linked me to my first video of this game. They like, they said they got recommended to me, and they put a comment on video one of like the 400 or so we have. And I watched it again just for funs. It was um, it wasn't very good. <laughs> Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you here? Oh, did I see the... Oh, yep, we have orbs. Going in and out of the car right there. They're falling down from on top of the car into the hood. Not freezing yet. Oh, did I see a plate here? No, no, it's just a bit of, little spot of light. I'm still curious where the bone is. Like, we looked around. Let's get UV on that locker we just heard open. But the game has definitely changed quite a bit from when I began playing. Hello. Phantom. Getting a little bit of lag, it feels like, when I'm walking around. I'm not quite sure what. So it's worth running from ghost events just because you don't want to lose sanity. If they hit you in the howl, you'll lose 10% more for some ghosts. So what do we know so far? We know orbs. Maybe. It could be a mimic. Let's bring in some crucifixes. Some salt. I didn't see UV on the, um, on, on the locker, but it might have just been too late. Oh, was that dots? Or was that just my breath? I think that might have been just my breath. I'm not gonna believe it. Ghost, you want to step in my salt? Yeah, there you go. Well, no UV. And it's persistently not freezing. That was this one. I can't see it very well. So turn on your light, Michael. What are you thinking? There. All right, we're probably around 60% sanity, so we gotta be a little careful about potential hunts. 
I want to check the basement one more time before we start getting chain hunted. To see if the bone could be down there. 65. So we're a bit we're doing a bit better than I think. We can kill our sand at any time we want with the circle. Okay, that was a little scary. Let me check our sanity real quick. Okay, so we did drop below 50. Although I bet, I bet we were at 50 right when it began hunting. I, I, I might have been an early hunt. It, some, it seemed fast. Didn't that seem fast to you? So maybe something like a Hantu or a Raichu, or a Thay. I don't know. It did seem fast though. And we didn't find a bone. I think we're best boneless on this one. Unless it's like right here. No, I don't see it. Now it, it wasn't it didn't hit our crucifixes. So where to hunt from? Like I, I heard it on the stairs first, but it might have been anywhere up here. Hasn't written. I think I just want to get hunted again. And learn. I did at one point think we had dots. So I want to be out out of line of sight. Over here. Ghost is going to hunt. It's going to come over here. And we're going to look at it for a little bit. And see what it does. Then we'll have a think. And decide how to proceed from there. Here we go. Oh, it's a Raichu. Yeah, such a Raichu. So my thought was it was a right. We have some time. We smudged it. Because it was zooming.
Although it seemed like it was fast, like right here. And there was nothing here. Maybe it's a Thay instead. Like it was flashing these lights immediately, and that's what made me suspicious. Let's have a think. So it's a fast ghost. It's not a mare. It's not a banshee. It's not a revenant. I mean, it, because it wasn't fast when, when it wasn't on a site. It's not a Yurei, a Yokai, on Rio, and Obake. It's either a Hantu, a Raichu, or a Thay. It's not a Hantu because it's not cold. And Hantus require it to be cold. So we're looking at Raichu or Thay. Spirit Box rules both of them out. Dots, they both have dots. EMF would be Raichu, but it might be hiding that. Neither one are ultraviolet. Thay is right. Neither one's freezing. So, I'm assuming we have dots. And then it comes down to EMF for writing, which we're not going to have. My thought... I think I just want to leave here. I think I, I think it, I'm feeling confident it's a right to. It might be a Thay, but I think a Thay would be would be slower by now. The only thing that makes me a little nervous is that it did seem to be fast, even when it was in this little hallway there, and I don't think there was anything nearby it. Maybe it was getting something through the wall. I'm not sure. Anyway, go with it. Let's find out. It did seem to slow down, which is something that they just don't do. Yeah. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. New spare box. Discover the ghost type is done. We got almost enough photo money. Didn't find the bone. Where was the bone? It was in the large blue bedroom, so upstairs. In the back corner. I looked there. I guess I just didn't see it. Maybe it was in the bathroom of that bedroom. Anyway. Let's buy our new box. This one. Alright. Let's do another. A ridge view. No, a grafted. Just for the visual differences between the small houses and the farmhouses. I say farmhouses, but this, this clearly is not a farm. <laughs> what would you call this? I don't even know what the different housing styles are. I don't know. I probably should. Alright. Bradley Brock. Paranormal sound with a mic. Escape the ghost. EMF. Hiding spot right there. It's a good one. Gives us good hearing access to everywhere in the house. We have cards. I swear, game. You, the things you do to me. Our, our thermo is calibrated now, so it can find the ghost. Not a hiding spot. No breaker here. Do I hear footsteps? Like, are we already being hunted from upstairs? I don't think so. So, cold room. Here's the ghost. This living room area.
We'll keep looking around for the bone and such. Here's the breaker. No hiding spot. Here's a good hiding spot. I'd say that these are... Right now, I think we have the two favorite hiding spots I have on this map. This one right there, and uh, that one um, behind, underneath the stairs. And then the chair up on top, of course, is a good hiding spot. But the, the virtue of this one is that the ghost could be right on top of you. It could be right there, and if you could get around this corner, and then get around this corner, you have broken line of sight, and the ghost will come right here and look and wonder all about not having any idea where you are. Double line of sight block. Got nothing. Ghost is being quiet. I haven't heard it do anything yet either. Bet we have a summoning circle. Or a doll. Nope, must be a doll. Oh no, wait, no, it's cards. What am I saying? We already saw the cards. Where's my bone? Well, damn. Two houses where our first... Our first look over, we could not find a bone. We never went all the way back here in the, into this side. Just a two. Ghost is feeling cold or warm. Needs a fan on. I am not. I I'm freezing. It's quite cold out. Well, I don't know. Where is the where is the ghost? Or where's the bone? No sanity shenanigans going on. When I say that, I mean there are some times where a ghost will um, lower your sanity without your being aware of it, like a gin. And so if you see yourself suddenly at like 60% sanity when the ghost hasn't done very much, then you're like, you have to be on the lookout for certain types of ghosts, like the gin, the moroi, etc. Your rays. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? They might not be here anymore. This feels like it's warming up. Let's check nearby rooms. So it's warm in here. Warm in here. Yep, still going up. In 
Okay, the front room's cold now. So it could be right here. Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Did you move this? I think that might have moved. Are you friendly? Hello? I missed you. So it does seem like you moved back this way. But you might be like in both rooms. Are you here? Where are you? Are you friendly? Where are you? Definitely colder over here. Let's see if we can maybe get some uh, some motion because this ghost is not not um, being within our expectations. A ghost ventured in the wrong room, which it can do. Ghosts do that, conforming to expectations. I guess is what I'm supposed to be saying. Maybe there'll be orbs and that will make it obvious. I thought I heard something move. I got an object fall to the ground. In either one of these rooms. Well, that's just me. Wait a minute, it did, it, it did that one. Okay, good. Yeah, this room's hot, heating up now. And this one's going cold again. Are you here? It's writing. We have it. It's here. I haven't been able to get a good UV check on it yet. Let's put some salt down. Sanity is uh, draining a little faster than I would expect. I've got to be a little aware of that. Got to be a little wary. Just touch the door right there. Come on, pick it up. It's like over there. <laughs> Maybe. 
Did you decide to live in here? Just for now? don't have a good grip of where the ghost is at the moment. Might have came back, but I, I would have expected it would have gone through the salt then. It might be back in that, that room on the side. Sanity isn't dropping too fast now from where we were before. But we're already lower than I want to be. I'm going to bring in something like this and a paramic. It's not in here anymore, so we can probably move this over here to get a better understanding of where the ghost is. I mean, it can't be a wraith, so it's going to step on salt. This room's heating up. It moved. Are you in here now? Yeah, you are. No, it's coming back up now. Hmm. Definitely hot. Definitely hot. There we go. It came back. and does not have footprints. Flashing lights in there, of all places. Wait a minute. I just heard a dot dot. Did it go through that one? Because I was looking at these and they didn't go off. I think this is the ghost room now. It keeps persistently coming back to here. Okay. Uh, do we even need to do any more? Like, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure what next steps are. Maybe we just want to get hunted? Learn what we can from that? We could look for more EMF, I suppose. And check for Goryo dots. Uh, no, we ruled out Goryo. Never mind. It might be something as silly as like a shade. Okay. Because there's... And now you're bringing all your stuff back out here. Yeah, now suddenly it's back out here. Ghost event. Not an Oni. Alright, we're below 50 now. Let's take um, some extra precautions. What is that? 
There's like a little shiny thing right there. So, what do we really know? We know it's not ultraviolet. And not box, I think. So it's not a poulter. Other than that, I'm not sure about anything. It's probably not orbs. So not a mare. Other than that, let's see it hunt. Let's use some cards. So the best thing about... Oh. That's kind of cursed. I like it. Ghost is throwing the teddy bears around. Doesn't mean the ghost is here. That's a common misconception. And um, the, uh, the teddy bears or the bouncing balls showing up in a place means that the ghost has ha you had them in its room to begin with so it teleported them away from from a ghost room to somewhere random in the house just like the mannequins if the mannequins move it's not because the ghost is where they end up it's where it's where the ghost was was that a that was that was a crucifix down to 25 never mind we're at 100 percent we're at 200 percent sanity that kind of backfired on us yeah uh, I I have regrets. I should have just let it hunt naturally. Oh, we have below freezing. Okay. There we go. Revenant Shade Morai. So it can't be a Morai because Morai is our forced to have spirit box. So we're looking at Demon, Revenant, or Shade. My money is on shade at the moment. It could be a revenant still. We will never know. We need to get hunted for that to happen. I'm just gonna say shade and go. I'm feeling kind of confident because it feels like it's been super inactive. But it could always be a revenant. I'm like, you know, 60, 40, 70, 30, something like that. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. There you go. See, it would have been an easy ghost to find if we got hunt. But, uh,. Sun cards. Got some sun cards. Ah, oh, well. Let's do a Tanglewood. Let's speed run this. I'm going to say we're going to choose a ghost by... by 10 minutes from now. No matter what. We're just going to leave. Okay, we got a fog, weather. Heather, motion, photo, paramic. We don't need that. Ghost, what's your name? Heather, Heather, where are you? Heather. Okay, hiding spots. 
Got some doors. No crucifix. Or no, um, no UV. Seems like it's right here. see orbs yet where are you are you here are you friendly this isn't the right room okay it's right here hello oh this is kind of scary Of a doll. It was scary because the door closed, but it wasn't actually on. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? We have orbs. Whole bunch of UB. Out of five? No, just a three. Writing. Writing in orbs. So, Mayor Revenant thing. Easy, easy ghost. Each one of those has very distinct hunting behaviors. If we can survive a hunt, we will win. Do we have a hiding spot? There's one right here. Okay, no. One right here? Yeah. And we can force a hunt with the doll. So the Thay is going to be super fast all the time. The Revenant will be fast when it sees us, but slow otherwise. The mare will walk around like a normal ghost. <laughs> Suddenly it's zooming. Oh, good thing we didn't go we went to the wrong hiding spot. 
That's how obvious it would have been to find that first ghost in that ha in the farmhouse if we had just gotten hunted once. Double revenant, back to back revenants. Real life is streaky. Alright, what do we not get? We didn't get Ouija board, we didn't get spirit box, we didn't complete objectives. We'll probably do something later today though. And finish this up. Alright. Thank you everybody for watching. Until next time.